Faster, Rocco! It's almost curtain time! Uh-oh, help! It's slipping! What? Brakes, help! Uh, brakes! Honest, Rocco, I thought you said steaks! Can you ever forgive me? Of course, Hef. It was an honest mistake. But I'm worried about my car. It's never sounded this bad before. We'll have to take it to the shop in the morning. You must be the grim tow truck. Does this mean I'm... I'm... It is time for you to go to that big parking lot in the sky. Ah, oh, St. Peter Belt. Kina, help you, young fella. W well, yes, I, I need my car fixed. That car? <laughs> I'm sorry, you're serious. Yes, I'm serious. I'd like to get my car fixed. Son, that cheap little rattle trap is not a car. This is a car. This is a car. What you got there is a little tricycle with an extra wheel. <laughs> <laughs> You see, me and my buddies race in the old town rally every year. And, well, we eat cars like yours for breakfast. Wow, this old wreck ain't even worth fixing. Be better off selling it for scrap. Scrap? This is a great car. It's the car I learned to drive in. The car that brought me to old town. I've had some wonderful times in this car. Hear that, boys? The platypus is all sentimental about his little red wagon. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, mister. I'm gonna fix my car. And what's more, I'm gonna win that race. Right on! You tell him, Rocco. Heffa, push me home. I told you, Rock, I got this hamstring. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> All right, Hep, let's take stock of our situation. I got the uh, toolbox and the uh, repair manual. We'll check out the tools first. Gee, Rocco, sort of limited selection-wise. Well, we'll improvise. Let's consult the repair manual. OK, Hep, you read while I work. Okie dokie. First, to be putting car in neutral. You don't need to affect the silly accent. But that's how it's written. Where was this car made? Slovavia. First, remove outer housing plate screws. But not before turning the upper retention bolt one half turn clockwise. This could be a very costly mistake. Pepper, where's my screwdriver? And all the other parts I put here? I don't know, Rock, but I'm sure they'll turn up. It's useless, Hef. We'll never get the car fixed. Hi, guys. What you doing? We were trying to fix my car, actually. Oh, really? Let me have a look at it. You know how to fix cars, Philbert? Oh, yeah. I'm a graduate of the Adequacy by Mail Mechanic Correspondence School. Our motto is, if the job's worth doing, it's worth doing adequately. Well, what do you think? Can you make it better? Better? We can make it better than it was. Better, stronger, faster. We can bring it back. We can bring it back. Reanimate the lifeless scrap metal and return to it that spark that is the breath of life itself. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! 
Well, it worked in the movie. Maybe we should try something else. Forceps. Screwdriver. Suction. Pipe wrench. Silly headdress. Live chicken. Boom, schwati, oosh. Is that necessary? It couldn't hurt. Now, if I'm right, I can just reattach the battery cables and we'll be done. Okay, let's see. It's black to positive, red to negative. <laughs> no, that's not right. That's it. I give up. It's hopeless. I've tried everything. Everything I can think of. It's useless. A lost cause. Beyond hope. Philbert, Overdone. Uh, 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 Philbert, uh, I didn't graduate from a school or anything, but I just noticed something. What is it? Well, there's this switch here on the engine. Perhaps if we switched it from broken to fixed. You know something? That's just crazy enough to work! Hello, son. Let me open that pearly garage door. <laughs> Heifer, you get in the car and get ready to start it up. Rocco, flip that switch! Ah, wait. I'm afraid we may have been a little premature. All right, Heifer. Start it up. It's alive! It's alive! Guys, I think I just knocked in the door! Oh, dear. I haven't reconnected the accelerator return springs, the transmission cable, or the brake pads yet. What does that mean? It means he's gonna go careening full tilt through the town in reverse till he either hits a building or the engine overheats and explodes. Explodes? What's going to happen to Heifer then? Oh dear. We've got to save him! Come on, Philbert! We can still catch him! Okay, but I've got to drive. I'm not insured for you. <laughs> Make sure your helmet fits snugly but not so tight as to cut off circulation to the brain. <laughs> Tires, check. Gas gauge, check. Is this necessary? There's always time for safety, Rocco. <laughs> Airbags, <laughs> check. Check right, check left, signal, and pull into traffic. On rock, we can still catch him. I know a shortcut. Hey, I'm in the race. I'll show these guys what Rocco's car is made of. Yahoo! I'll teach you to make fun of cheap little poorly made economy cars! Are you sure you know where you're going, Philbert? It looks like we're lost. <gasps> oh, ye of little faith. Ed, jump over here! I can't leave now, Rock! I'm about to win the race with your car! Isn't it great? But Philbert says the engine could explode at any minute. You know, winning is highly overrated. Ah! 
Trevor, what are you doing? That's dangerous. Here, put this helmet on. There's always time for safety. At least we got you off before the engine explodes, which should be any minute now. <laughs> or maybe it'll just run out of gas. Cheer up, Rocco. We came in second, and your car came in first. So it gets a nice trophy and a free tank of gas. A tank of gas? Oh, boy. Oh, well. Here we go again. Boom, schwatty, whoosh. <laughs> 